from flies, germs and dirt. Rush to nearby hospital in case of serious injury. Before approaching doctor, the profuse bleeding must be controlled by bandaging or putting pressure onto the wound. Another major problem is itching. It is an infectious disease and travels from one person to another. Consequently, the whole family becomes victim of skin allergy. Itching reddens the skin and also causes infectious acne. Itching is severely felt on different sensitive parts of body and underarms. As a result, the attention of the patient is distracted from work and all abandoned. Prevention against itching Take bath at least once a day and clean your complete body. Always prefer clean and dry clothes. Don't use towel, clothes and bed covers of skin allergic patient. Keep your towel separate and only use your own towel after taking bath. Remember, don't hide your skin allergies from others. Rather, seek proper treatment. Children suffering from infectious itching should not be slept together. Rather, they should sleep separately and never put on each other's clothes. Bed sheets, cords and clothes of the sufferers of skin allergy should be washed with boiled water and sodium carbonate. The clothes should also be ironed on both sides so that the infectious germs can be destroyed. Use Margosa or Detol soap for bathing. Pimples and Boils Generally youngsters suffer from pimples and boils, but often adults too become victim of these skin diseases. Pus boils are infectious and travel from one to another. While keeping our body clean, we can be safe from the disease. The patient of such disease should cover their boil so that other people cannot catch infection. Flies are also the cause of spreading infections, so boils should be kept from these. The infectious part of the body must be washed with margosa leaves added boiled water. In order to cure the disease, the prescribed ointment must be applied on. Lice Lies transfer from one person to another. If hair do not be cured properly, these become occupancy of lies. Diseases of ears, nose and throat. During carpet weaving, dangerous chemicals, wool fiber and dirt become the cause of throat, nose and ear diseases. These diseases are flu, chorizia, bronchitis, cough and lethargic fever. The dirty surroundings of workplace are the cause of running pus from the ears. If running prolongs, then there is a danger of getting deaf. Fever has been discussed many times. In order to measure the correct temperature, the physical touch is not enough. Rather always keep thermometer at home so that the correct measurement of fever should be obtained. We have already talked about the illnesses of ear, nose and throat. Please note more precautions regarding these. Don't insert finger, nail or bit of cotton. Rather, use ear drops according to doctor's advice. Mustard oil should not be poured into the ears. Quacks should not be consulted for anything. Don't eat hot and spicy things. And sour fruits. These things cause infection of throat and fever. Ice lollies and their ply drinks are very disastrous for our throat. Eye problems. Different eye problems such as reddening, inflammation or tearing of eyes can take place while working with wool fiber and dirt. Along with these causes, Eye infection can be produced generally in summer and rainy seasons for the germs transfer from hands to our eyes. Sometimes epidemic of eye inflammation breaks in and masses are affected. 
prevention against eye diseases keep your clothes and body clean wash mouth and eyes with splash of water keep away from the filthy water if eyes become inflamed consult eye specialist in case of infected eyes use dark spectacles and take rest while working in low light the eyesight can be affected therefore proper light should be arranged at workplace while working in daylight eyes can be protected enough use tube light or bulb while working at night if doctor suggests spectacles then use these regularly so that eyesight cannot be affected gastric problems symptoms gastric pain diarrhea cramps pale complexion anemia and gastric trouble the causes of gastric problems are stale diet and contaminated water eating at the area of hand looms excessive use of spices and filthy eating stuff prevention and cure avoid spices use fruit and vegetables after washing properly wash your utensils properly wash your hands after using toilet sweep stool and vomit of youngsters properly clean toilet so that germs may not be generated mothers should wash their hands with soap after cleansing it is necessary to wash hands before cooking we hope you do act upon these suggestions and make the other family members to follow them may you all be healthy and live long amen